So, Jim, I got into this Twitter debate the other day, um, and I was talking about design and how it plays a role. Jim, yeah. j are, are you listening to what I'm saying right no, now? I was just actually, I just got a brand new iPod Touch. Ooh. And I really like the design of this thing. Yeah. And I've just been playing around. I'm sorry. I didn't well, how about you pay attention to me for a yeah, second? That's a good idea. That'd be kind of nice. <laughs> that would be nice. Big fan of yours. You yeah, know thanks. That. I always have been. Appreciate that. Good. Well, as she was saying. Yeah. So as I was saying, here's the thing about this. Um, so I don't like wikis. I actually kind of hate them. Um, I understand some uses for them. They're good for rapid documentation. But the thing is, like, they are so difficult to use. And I don't understand why that has to be the case. And for me, it's a user interface standpoint, a user usability, yeah. I guess, is the way you'd put that. And, you know, I come from a design background, so I'm automatically an asshole right there. Yeah, that does <laughs> so qualify you as it an does. asshole immediately. It does. But, you know, here's the thing. So I'm talking about, like, do people even use wikis anymore? And I feel like they're never quite adopted to the point you want them to be because they're so freaking hard to use. It's like you got to almost learn this other programming language yeah. just to edit a document, whereas you have stuff like Google Docs. Um, and there's even some software, I think, that makes this easier in terms of WYSIWYG editors, like I think Wikispaces does some mm -hmm. decent things PB in that Wiki. regard, PBWiki. Uh, but it just seems like overall the software as a whole just seems to suck. And I well, wonder. Well, specifically, right, MediaWiki is what you're referring yeah, to. Yeah, MediaWiki, which, to, and it's interesting because Julia Forsyth was talking to me and was like, yeah, if only we had like an example of a really large space where people were using that software. Yeah, I, can't, I was going to say, I you can't know, think of one really I can't, big successful yeah, one. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> you know, and I recognize the popularity of Wikipedia. So, I mean, sometimes I wonder, it, you know, how much more popular would it be if the editing tools were as simple to use as Google Docs? Yeah. You know, well, Wikipedia is popular, but is it like YouTube popular, where YouTube is so dead simple to upload a video, and Wikipedia is just not there in terms of document editing? Well, I don't aren't know. there like Wikipedia folks out there, or maybe Wiki folks out there in general, who basically believe that the very streamlined markup language of MediaWiki is part of you know, a commitment to that project, a yeah. commitment to that. Now, I understand the idea of, yeah, but why make it hard? You know, the easier, the more people you have on it. And, you know, that can be a slippery slope. I understand that. I mean, I personally have for years now tried to integrate MediaWiki into the UMW kind of like, um, how do you say it, like production or media empire we're calling it now yeah. or collective or as a just part basically of basically a publishing platform a separate thing. yeah as a part of the gotcha. UMW platform yeah. what i've never been smart enough to do and the problem with media wiki in my mind is the documentation so terrible mm -hmm. and it's so dispersed yeah that for me to get an extension to do something as easy as WYSIWYG, which once i had and it worked with firefox but then it stopped working mm -hmm. i just became a little frustrated with media wiki as a solution for people beyond the hardcore users I knew who were going to say, you know what, I'll use the markup language. Yeah. And so for me, it kind of stalled out me pushing it out of pure laziness because I didn't want to be like, okay, here's how you do the markup language. Because as soon as you start saying that, you, most people, not everyone, but most people's eyes glaze over and that is that and they don't want to hear about it. Right. And I, I can't help that. Like I can see the arguments on both sides. But at the end of the day, if I'm picking on technologies, there's a reason why we went with WordPress. Yeah. There's a reason, like, beyond everything else, like, WordPress is elegant. Mm -hmm. It is easy to use, you well, know, and considering. Yeah, and there's this balance that we have as instructional technologists because, yeah, we're the geeks. Yeah, we get some of this stuff, and we're probably more, we are more willing than other people to yeah. sit down there and say, I'm going to figure this out, and I'll... I'll spend an hour to save myself 10 down the road, but other people don't. You know, it's just yeah. like they don't, they don't see like, okay, well, if I learn this little language, it'll actually make it faster. They don't care. They're like, why is this so difficult? Okay, now having said that, right, and I do agree with you, the folks at UBC on the Brian Lamb and yeah. Novak Project, they've done amazing stuff, and mm -hmm. I would really like to be smart and go steal all that their development and yeah. use that in UMW Wiki because I think we could benefit from that, and they've already done it. But see, I feel like that community in WordPress is so much easier to access that stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Wiki, you really have to go out of your way to ask someone and say, hey, how did you get you know, that SoundCloud embed working? How did you get this? Because there's no real, the central repository for MediaWiki 
maybe just because I don't go there as often, but it just doesn't seem as robust and as regular. Yeah. And that there's people who kind of are outside of that idea of you use the kind of wiki, you know, markup language or you don't. Like, you feel that divide. But it's kind of what I like about the wiki culture is because those folks seem a little bit more hardcore. Yeah. And the other cool thing that I don't want to disregard about wikis versus blogs, and this is brought up by John Maxwell at Open Ed in 2009, and I thought it was a really good point. And he said, you know, I can understand the idea of, you know, blogs, and I was pushing blogs like crack, and, like, I understand blogs, but blogs in many ways are more individualized. It's yeah. more about that person's portfolio of this. And for him, he's a writing instructor, and he deals with the writing through new media. He's like, one of the things that wikis, when done well, really do is allow you to rethink writing as a collective, mm -hmm. which is really what's powerful about Wikipedia. It's not necessarily how hard or easy the markup language is. It's that that technology is still really difficult, yeah. right? So I really like that idea to kind of, and not difficult in that the difficult to use, but difficult for us to conceptualize with the idea of writing. Yeah. And the idea of the writer as a sole author or as a kind of collective group. I'm fascinated by that. And I still think that's why I do hold on to the idea of the wiki. Yeah. One thing that I wish, you know, is they were talking um, – you know, and Brian actually pointed to their wiki and said, uh, you know, th they clearly, in terms of page edits, you know, if you're looking at raw numbers in terms of amounts of page editors, um, you know, amount of users actively involved in theirs, they are a large installation of MediaWiki that mm -hmm. seems to be successful. Now, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that's actually the case. It's hard to tell sometimes, you know whether numbers actually reflect actual real world usage you know yeah, my it seems like my a space pretty could probably robust yeah my space could probably say they have 400 million users but does that really reflect you know the popularity of a service but one thing that i wish for with things like that you know you mentioned it, it is a great install there are some great things happening there but it feels like if i went to install media wiki right now it would look very similar if not identical to the install that was 4 or 5 years ago and compare that to wordpress where four yeah. or five years, I mean, there's so much development around that. And I think the reason for it is that, yes, like, I think both have large communities of users. Yeah. And I think they're both actively developing plugins and extensions and doing interesting things. But whereas with WordPress, all of those extensions, they're constantly being evaluated by the community to say, let's roll this into the core of the product. You know, yeah. that looks good. Let's bring that in. Tiny MCE looks great. Let's make that our default editor for WYSIWYG. Yeah. You know, multi-site is an incredible project. Let's roll it into the fold and make that a part of the regular installation. And MediaWiki, it just seems like they're comfortable saying, yeah, uh, we're extensible. We're, you know, we have this whole plug-in architecture and people can do whatever they want with us, but we're not going to taint the product itself. And from a user design standpoint, I think it's the users that really lose out in that. Yeah, the geeks can figure it out, and the geeks can mold and hack it in the same way that they can do that with Linux as a desktop operating system. They can make it whatever they want it to be, but for regular users, you know, it's a, it's a problem of bandwidth. Even for me as a geek, it's a problem of what do I want to spend my time working on and developing? Do I want to spend all my time trying to make MediaWiki into this thing that's actually a nice usable interface and good product or do I want to actually have some software that out of the box works pretty well and then I make the little tweaks that I want to add a plug in here or there for more specific things like adding a social feature or whatever you know and then have it work you yep. know and spend more time you know not not having to worry about oh my god the training that's gonna result from this is gonna be a huge problem well I mean I'd be interested to find out how uh, schools like UBC who I think are one of the best examples of a successful media wiki install. I'm sure there are others, but they have, like I know Brian Lamb had written about this idea of the gardener. Like mm -hmm. they have a person at the library at UBC who's kind of like dedicated to kind of like framing that community and yeah. shaping the pages and organizing it. And you know, CUNY Academic Commons does a really good job with their wiki. It's not as extensive as UBC's. But I can see, like, I know, and I, I definitely hear you on the issues with the Wiki, Media Wiki's development. Mm -hmm. And I definitely hear you on the design of it. And I, I think there are, I agree with you, there are issues. And issues, not so much that I have a problem with it, but I'm going to have a hard problem pushing it mm -hmm. in the same way, given my limitations with what we've done with the UMW Wiki. Right. But at the same time, the what we've done with documentation, I've gone in there and customized documentation on the fly for classes 
which would have taken me a lot longer in a WordPress blog. I've done it in minutes yeah. in a wiki and then gone into the class and had this whole customized, beautiful kind of how-to for that class. And, you know, faculty love it. It's easy for me. And then mm -hmm. I have this repository of course how-tos that I've taken from our pre-existing documentation. Yeah. So for that's been great. The other thing is, and we don't have the web up, but if we did, um, if anyone out there wants to see a great example of this, um, search for Black Mountain Poets. Black Mountain Poets, uh, they were a group, kind of this kind of alternative school in the 50s and 60s in North Carolina. Um, Black Mountain College was the name of the place. But if you search Black Mountain Poets, there's an actual, the third link in Google will link you to a UMW wiki page. Mm -hmm. And when I think about wikis that are very interesting is like WordPress, MediaWiki as a in, as a application is very Google friendly, yeah. and that's because of uh, you know Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. So there is that to it. You know, I've never had the same kind of luck with the closed wikis. Right. What I think of like PBWiki and you know WikiSpaces, which I just don't like because it's hosted third party hosted solutions. So yeah. I actually you know have had with a few professors some really good examples. The other thing is, what is the place of the university? in editing actually Wikipedia. Yeah. I mean, I think that was the John Beasley Murray uh, murder, madness, and mayhem example, which I just think is brilliant. Um, that idea is something that I think us as universities need to pick up. Now, your point is a good one. Would we do more of it if the, you know, interface and if the language wasn't so difficult? And it is difficult, especially when you get into getting, creating a good or a featured article. I think my it's not easy. And you know, I think the 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 problem for me is not just that it's difficult. Well, you know what? Life sucks. Life is difficult sometimes, but when things are worth it, Tom Woodward had an interesting tweet where he said it's a balance of pain versus value. And when the value is more than the pain caused by learning that new tool, then you'll do it because there's value behind it. But if they, if users don't see value behind it, then they're not willing to absorb that pain. And so, yeah. you know, as in ITS folks, we can reduce the pain or we can increase the value by finding a product that works well. You know. Or perceived value, right? Because value is a perception. So you could kind of go there and sell them like, mm. hey, you really need to learn, right. you know, MediaWiki because yeah. this is what, you know, X amount of articles on the web are that you get information from are doing and you need to understand the language it's created in so you can help create it. We can make that article yeah. argument. We could say it's valuable. Now, whether they listen to us or not, I yeah. don't know. And to me, sometimes it comes off a little bit as hype if you can't back it up with when they turn around and say, have you actually tried doing this? Julia mentioned a good point, which is mm -hmm. that apparently Wikipedia has an easier interface, so it's possible that they've probably done some things to that software. And I wonder if that goes back into the MediaWiki core software, See, those changes that they make or not. I think that's something we need to check out. Yeah. You know, because I'm not... I agree with you on the design questions, and you know we could even go into the question of Apple and their design, and they've made things you know easier. I love going in the question but there of is Apple. difficulties, the idea around Apple, with when you make things easier, you're oftentimes kind of robbing people of certain rights. Mm -hmm. So there's that idea, but at the same time, or certain even not even rights, but it's just robbing them of certain potential. Yeah. But at the same time, I would like to do more research in the Media Week of Project. But the Media Week project in terms of like your documentation is so terrible. Yeah. I don't care. I've been there for years. I know it. I know a bunch of people who I follow, like Alan Levine, have written about this again and again. I mean, it's just a hard product unless you don't have someone dedicated to it to make work for you easily. Well, and here's the only thing that I'll say about Apple. Scott Leslie said that too often user interface is is used to the detriment of a project moving forward. Like, people let user design and u design and interface get in the way of that. And I feel like Apple is an example of a company that absolutely makes that number one. Like, that, you know, they, they go for the minuscule little details, and they will spend hours and days on the tiniest of little things because they really feel like that matters. And I think it does. I think that the popularity of their products and the usability of their software, their operating system, is a reflection of that focus. Okay, but I think, you know, to be fair, you got to really divorce maybe what people say is, you know, Steve Jobs, kind of focus on detail and all that, we love Steve Jobs, from Apple as a company, that a lot of their moves have not been about the open, 
web right. and have not been about a kind of space for innovation beyond their innovation. Yeah. And a space. I'm talking you know, more so there's visual design and But that's the whole thing. The design. two get conflated often. Yeah. And I think it's, it's important to distinct because you know what, frankly, I think design, when I went from a PC to an Apple seven years ago now, mm -hmm. I never went back. Yeah. I mean, it was a better experience. There's no two ways about it. But there are questions in the Apple ecosystem in terms of a corporation yeah. that certainly make me wonder. Well, we're out of time, but um, I think it's clear that I need to install MediaWiki, the newest version, jump into it, and maybe Well, you eat don't. I mean, I, I, if you don't want to, then screw it. I'm going to eat a little bit of my own dog food, so yeah. we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thanks for watching, folks. For life. Thank you.